My name is Greer Hamilton, and I work for the Mobile Safety Net team, which is a basic human needs initiative of the John R. Oshai Foundation. I started seeing a social worker in high school after my parents' separation, and so it gave me a really positive experience with a social worker. And when talking with my social worker, she thought it would be a really good job for me because it combined my interest in mental health as well as working with community members. So I changed my career path the summer before I went to college. The only context I had for a social worker was a school social worker. Um, so I didn't fully have an idea of like what community work would look like for social work. So I started volunteering as often as I could um, in college so that I could get more experience with Buffalo and different people living here. And then I realized that I could also be interested in advocacy work and policy work and social work, um, which now kind of brought me to like the work I'm doing uh, both with the NSAW and at my job doing coalition building. I try to help people do community-based change to alleviate poverty. So that means that I schedule meetings with different organizations and individuals to learn more about what they're interested in working on. I plan events. I promote different organizations and their missions. I also try to develop action plans that will um, exist beyond my time at my job. So I start work typically at 7.30. By eight o'clock, usually my other coworkers are in. So I, we are a team of three. So my coworkers, Annie and Natalie, are generally in the office by then. We usually catch up about, about what each other did the evening before, um, or meetings that we're all going to together that day. And then depending on the day, I'm either in the office all day or I'm at meetings. So typically if it's a meeting day, I have one or more meetings um, that are about an hour or hour and a half. I have two coalitions that I facilitate, one in Newfane and one in North Tonawanda. So typically I spend a bulk of my day in either of those communities, working with the residents and organizations on uh, the coalition itself or a related project. Our initiative uses a framework called Collective Impact. And so for our coalitions, myself and my coworkers act as facilitators, which means that we schedule meetings, we develop agendas, and we work with the coalition members to develop action-oriented items to work on. We are going to be doing the North Tonawanda Coalition this week and talking about the summer kickoff event. North Tonawanda, because of regional transportation issues, um, has expressed interest in providing residents that are near or below the poverty level with the ability to access services on a regular and consistent basis. So how we do that is by running a project that we call The Hub. And we provide residents with at least three organizations where they can learn about um, the services they offer or enroll in that service. So it's an evening event. So we'll be asking people to volunteer to help with intake forms, to help um, set up tables, really just kind of planning out what it is we need to do to make the event run effectively. I think I am making somewhat of a difference in the work I'm doing. I think I'm not able to see um, the difference I'm making because alleviating poverty is a long-term thing. So sometimes that is a little disheartening because you want to see the immediacy of your work um, in front of you. But I do think that that's one reason A, I continue to do this job, but also B, it's kind of shaping the next iteration of my social work career because um, it's showing me that we have to have conversations about equity in our work. For me, whatever work I do after this job has to include economic and racial equity because I think poverty is systemic. And so in order to actually effectively alleviate poverty, I have to be able to work on issues of equity. So I do think I'm making a difference, just not always how I think the difference should be made.